Welcome to this tour of the ASM Failure Analysis Database site in the ASM Digital Library. I'm Scott Henry, Senior Content Engineer with ASM International. I'm pleased to present a quick overview of the content and features of the site. ASM launched the Digital Library in 2018 with the goal of providing discoverable and convenient access to content on metals and alloys and other engineered materials. ASM has published the complete ASM Handbook series the ASM Failure Analysis Database, and the Alloy Digest Datasheet Collection to the library. In 2020, we started adding ASM conference proceedings and ASM technical books to the site. We will continue to add more content resources throughout this year and beyond. The ASM Failure Analysis Database site address is dl.asminternational.org slash failure hyphen analysis. The ASM Failure Analysis Database was developed by ASM International and the Affiliated Failure Analysis Society to serve as a comprehensive resource for failure analysts, materials engineers, and product designers who need to investigate, analyze, remediate, and prevent component failures. If you select books by title, you'll see a list of all of the content available in the site. The database features more than 1,300 case histories compiled from a wide variety of ASM international publication types, including, including ASM handbook volumes, conference proceedings, technical books, journals, and magazines. These are organized into volumes by topic. The site also includes the three volumes of the handbook of case histories and failure analysis, and the complete content of ASM handbook volume 11, failure analysis and prevention. So let's take a look at a volume page. So when you open the table of contents for a volume, um, you see some information at the top, including an abstract for the volume. And then there's a list of the case histories organized into subject categories. And you have the option to view an abstract or to view the uh, link to the full text chapter. You can also just open the PDF of the article. So let's select the a case history and take a look. So here's the full text of a case history in this volume. And you'll notice that at the top of the page, you have uh, metadata about the case history, including an abstract and keywords. It tells you the source um, that the case history came, original source of the case history. And then you can read the text and the figures and tables are interspersed throughout the case history. You can also choose split screen view, which gives you some convenient features for browsing through the case history. There's a contents tab that allows you to quickly link to specific sections within the case history. If you select data and figures, you can browse through all the figures and tables that are included. And all of the figures include some additional options. View large opens up a uh, an expanded view of the image in a separate browser tab. And then you can also choose to download a slide, which will create a PowerPoint slide for you that, that you can use in reports uh, and other communications. The references list is a handy link to all the references cited in the case history. And we've also added links to ASM Handbook Volume 11 articles that are related to the subject matter of the case history. The related tab opens up this list of um, chapters and articles from other ASM sources that are related to the subject of, the, of this case history. And you can uh, click on any of these items to link directly to, the, to that specific content item. Explore subjects is a good way to find case histories on specific topics and to filter through case histories. So for example, if you choose austenitic wrought stainless steel from the material of construction category, that opens up a list of all of the case histories in the site that have been tagged um, as being related to austenitic stainless steels. And then, and, and in this case, there are 44 items that um, are here and you can browse through those and link to um, any of them. There are addition, additional filtering options on the left. So for example, if you wanna narrow down this list, you can open up uh, a, a subject in the um, taxonomy. So in this case, we'll pick chemical and petrochemical processing equipment that reduces the list of items to 15 case histories. 
So that allows you to quickly target um, specific topics within the, within the, uh, select the collection of case histories. If you uh, or your company does not currently have access to the, the full text of the failure analysis database, um, you can go to the access options uh, on, the, uh, on the site and it'll give you information about how to gain um, access to the collection. So that completes our quick tour of the site. So thanks very much. Um, for more information, you can contact online database sales at asminternational.org, or why not just visit the site and try it out for yourself. The URL again is dl.asminternational.org slash failure analysis. Thanks very much.